Are you tired of burglars breaking into your home? Then what you need is a green leafy friend. Our new and improved plants are fully equipped with hundreds of defense mechanisms, each targeted for the specific type of intruder. Thieves? We've got you covered. Annoying five-year-olds? Not anymore. Angry hot dog? Done. And if you buy one for double the price, you can get a second one free. So what are you waiting for? Secure your home today. Crazily enough, plants actually do have these capabilities. Not against human invaders, but against insects and other animals that try to harm them. When a plant is attacked, it starts off with plant A. This defense and follows physical barriers built into the plant and aren't specific to the type of predator, meaning they're used to harm any organism that it comes in contact with, not just a particular species. These physical defenses include everything from waxy leaf coverings to thorns, prickles, and spines, really any outer covering that makes it hard for an invader to get inside. But when an invader does get inside, plants switch to plan B, involving toxins and enzymes, the chemical defenses. The specific name of the system plants use is called systemic acquired resistance. When a plant is wounded by a predator, the plant produces hormones called jasmonic acid and salicylic acid, then identifies the invader by the chemicals in its saliva. Using this information, the hormones tell the plant what secondary metabolites, aka secret weapons, it needs to make. An example of this was shown in the advertisement at the beginning. When the plant recognized the type of invader, it made a secret weapon designed specially for it. Of course, there are many different types of weapons. Some can make the leaves tougher and less nutritious. Some interfere with nutrient absorption by acting as a toxin. Others bind to proteins to block digestion. And there are so many more with different functions. But while these chemical defenses are taking place, we can call for natural enemies. Plants do this by releasing molecules called herbivore-induced plant volatiles, which basically send messages into the atmosphere to call for backup. This backup crew consists of natural enemies of the invader and parasitic insects. But why would a damaged plant attract more insects? The plants have adapted to form a symbiotic relationship with the insects, meaning the insects get food by feeding off the plant's invaders, and in return, the plant is no longer attacked. But what's even cooler is that plants can talk to each other. They can warn others about bad guys by sending out compounds to neighboring plants. When plants receive this message, they know to amp up their defense mechanisms in case another invasion happens. But in this relatively new field of science, there's still so much we don't know about how plants even make these weapons. Perhaps by understanding this, we could apply this knowledge to agriculture. By finding a way to opt for natural plant-made weapons rather than common lab-made pesticides used today, maybe we can revert to a healthy ecosystem. So even though a plant won't solve your hot dog break-in problems, make sure to admire the complex system of plant defense going on all around you the next time you're outside.